how to create a calendar to sell on Amazon KDP. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a calendar to sell on Amazon KDP. And previously I've shown you how to create a horizontal calendar. Today I'm going to tell you how you can create a vertical calendar to sell on Amazon. So let's get into it. First off, you can do this either on Google Docs, you can do it on Word, you can do it on PowerPoint, you can do it on Canva. Personally, I prefer to do it on Canva because it renders the most fantastic designs that you can imagine and it usually is a lot more visually appealing and then compared to something that was created on Word or Google Docs. But just to show you guys, I'm going to quickly go through how you can create this on Google Docs and you can use the exact same steps on Microsoft Word. And then I'm going to head on over to Canva and show you guys the other method to create a calendar on Canva. So let's hop into Google Docs. We have our empty document and I've selected a very plain document. What you're going to do is you're going to click on insert and you're going to add a table. So when you're creating a vertical calendar, you have to account for the spine in between. So you want to add four columns to your first page and then you're going to add four columns to your second page. And you might be wondering, there are only seven days in a week. Well, you're actually adding eight because you're going to make a notes on one end of the book. So uh, the second page, you're going to edit those columns and make them into a notes column. So on the first page, you're going to add a four by four or four by five, depending on when the week starts. So we're going to add five rows and four columns. And then you're just going to expand this table on Google Docs like so and just resize everything. You can see how large pages are, so you're just gonna extend it to the bottom and you're gonna expand all of them accordingly. Now I'm gonna shorten this out and you can zoom out your view just to get a better idea of what you're working with currently. I am gonna make it like so. I want my boxes to not look too elongated, but I don't want them to be perfectly square either. I do want rectangular spots for my dates, like this. What I'm gonna do is like so. Once you're satisfied with the size of your columns or your boxes, you can just copy this and paste it onto your second page as well. So I'm just gonna make it like so. I'm going to make sure everything looks nice and pretty. And now what you can do is first off at the top, you're going to write the month that you're making this calendar for. So let's just say it's for March 2021 or March 2022. Then you're going to change the font to something that you think would look nice. Just go through all the fonts and pick one that suits it. And now you're just going to add the days. You can write the entire day or you can just add a initial. So you can write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now I'm going to fix the spacing on all of these. I'm going to reduce the font size a bit so they fit. And once you have that, you can just input your date. So whenever the day is starting like so but make sure you account for how this is not a horizontal calendar it's going to be uh, a vertical calendar so the second page is where the dates are going to be continued after that so creating the second page just like that as well you're going to insert your column your table just like that and then you're going to expand it just like you did with the other one then you're going to go for your optimum size and now we're just going to zoom in a bit to show you guys. This is how it's going to look. And then you're going to add the days on this page as well. So we have, we're just going to copy this text and paste it over here. I'm going to write Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to remove the space between the column and the text. And now we're going to add our notes like so. You're just going to space it out to your liking. Now for the notes column, you can actually delete this row and just leave like a empty area for notes. That's totally up to you. What you're going to do, you're going to delete this column and then you're going to resize it to fit 
the initial texts that you placed like that and now you're gonna edge out the notes a bit like that and you can add plain lines if you want or you can leave a empty space for notes and that is how easy it is to create a calendar on google docs it requires little to no effort whatsoever and you can just copy these pages and change the month on top and you have a calendar ready now for canva you can go in a lot more depth and you can create a lot more visually appealing design. So I'm going to select a square from the lines and shapes on Canva. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it to one inch width or one inch height or whatever this is, one centimeter. And I'm going to place it on this purple square guideline that you get when you're moving things on Canva. You're going to place it over here. And now I'm just going to copy and paste it. I'm going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And now I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'm going to apply the same method. So it's going to be four of these in a row because this is a vertical calendar. So I'm going to increase the size a bit to 1.3 actually. I think that's going to look better like so. Now I'm just going to make it like the optimum distance from each other. You can space out your calendar if you want as well. I prefer to keep it within the purple little box that usually looks more appealing to me personally, like so. And now you're just going to select all of these squares together and you're going to group them. And that after you've grouped them, you can just press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and you're going to get this entire row once more. And you can just copy and paste them to create all of your rows like this. Now I'm just going to move all of these down below and now on the top I'm going to go to text and I'm going to add a heading and that's going to be the name of the month. So let's just go for March 2022. We're going to place it over here on the purple line. I'm going to resize it a bit and I'm going to move all of these a bit to the top. They're pretty centered now. And now I'm just going to customize the text to something that I think would look good. So I'm going to pick a different font. I think this looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste. And I'm just going to add my months or the days of the month. So this is Monday. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Add it to each of the squares. Place it on the center and obviously you're going to change Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And you can just duplicate this page and remove the uh, top month and just have the same page over and over again. But another thing I recommend is you create these boxes, you select all of them and you change their color to white and you think I've gone crazy but you change this to white and then you're going to click on your page. And you're going to change the page color to like a light pastel, whatever color that you like. So I'm going to go for pink because I really like pink. And you can see this looks so much more appealing. Now, once you've done that, you're just going to click on add a bit of body text and you're going to add the dates. So like so, you've added one. You want to reduce the size and you can just place it on the center of the box. Like so, you're just going to add all of the dates. And you can also place the dates over here at the top so people can write down their appointments and whatnot on the boxes. This design usually is very appealing or you can even place it down here like so. I think it looks best when it's placed down there. So you're just going to keep on adding the dates. And this is a bit tedious to do, but it's very, very appealing to look at. And it, run, it gives you something that is really going to pay off in the long run. And once you design a basic template, it's not really that hard to change it up. So you can just duplicate this page. And here you have another page. And what you're going to do is you're just going to change from Monday to Friday. So you're just going to write Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then on the end, you're just going to write notes. And what you can do is you can just delete this element at the side you can delete this column. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into elements and go back into lines and shapes. And you can add a dotted line like this. 
I'm gonna reduce the size of this and I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Now I'm gonna select them together, I'm gonna group them and I'm gonna copy and paste the entire group. It's just gonna help me. I'm saving some time like this and I'm gonna remove the last line because it's going out of the um, general uh, margins that I've dedicated to my calendar. And this is how you create a very stylish calendar on Canva. To add even more designs, I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna search for sparkles on the elements on Canva. And I'm gonna add these white little dots at the top like this. I'm gonna drag them over here, resize them and place them at the top. And I'm also gonna copy and paste this on the edge like so. And now I'm going to search for lines on the Canva elements. I'm going to go in graphics and I'm going to get this white little design. And I'm going to place it at the end of my calendar page. And this is just so pretty. It's just so appealing. And it's something that is really going to garner you a large amount of profits because everyone has a simple calendar the one you could create on google docs it's very simple and easy but everyone has that kind of calendar making something like this could really be worth your while even though it might take a few hours to create so i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video